Welcome back. Technology and sustainability are reshaping the way we imagine and design our living spaces. A panel of industry experts showed the many ways this is helping future-proof our lives. SEMA, you strive towards the avant-garde. So which brings us again to the topic of uh, future-proofing, of um, innovation and so on. Why is that so important for you as um, a kind of philosophy for your work? I think the role of an architect is actually to bring to formation or fruition whatever are the goals or the parameters which are set for the project, but to bring it about in a manner whereby something that you create you know, in the cityscape or in the smaller picture even with relation to interiors should be something which should have an aesthetic value. And sometimes I feel to get a more um, interesting aesthetic value, you try to tend to, you know, use a different kind of palette, you want to use different materials, you want to experiment and you want to create something different. So which is why I would say that I'd like to use, you know, different materials and to create something interesting in every project that I really do. How do you feel? Creating good design is something that, that should last, you know, centuries. The present day architecture that we see around is is totally governed by economics alone and the way we live in our present is is all temporary just like a camp you know these buildings that we live in are not permanent they have a shelf life of less than a hundred years you know in the rcc concrete brick buildings that we live in so it's a huge uh, depletion of resources one of our biggest problem is of course is uh, population that is rapidly growing unlike any other part of the world so the problems we face in our environment is very different from elsewhere. Trying to create a timeless architecture in this present scenario is going to be difficult. Uh, it requires a far greater thinking, it requires policy changes by the government, it requires uh, not just individual architecture, you need to look at it as a whole where it also involves urban planning, the infrastructure, that's the only way it'll work. I'd like to hear your opinion. What the technology is doing now as it is said, something permanent about technology is the change. And change is something which nobody is going to be able to control. So as a designer, if we are, we have a choice either to be, there are some stalwarts who can be ahead of times. Some people have to keep up with time and some people just, just can't afford to stay behind. So technology is going to drive the designs. So um, we've heard this focus on technology. Now my, um, you know, kind of intervention is so, no, there's aesthetics as well. There is um, knowledge, expertise as well. There is uh, concern for the consumer. And there is um, the idea of meaning in the creation of design that is also lost if you are purely interested in kind of um, consumption. No, uh, I happen to be the odd man out because there are all architects and I am from the building side who uh, keeps on constructing the structure what we get. The significantly what we are talking about is futuristic structure which stays for longer time mostly the calendar structures. Now it's very difficult to price for a calendar structure because it's all on imagination. I found that we made a huge loss in those kind of structures. Second, the craft which is required to build those kind of structures Today's uh, generation of craftsmen are not interested because they don't get paid for that much of work which is involved. Third, speed. When you go for the speed, you are forced to use some mechanically uh, developed or modular kind of repetitive elements uh, just by playing jigsaw puzzle and create some architectural feature. Fourth the turnaround time of the economic cycle of the investor that plays a huge role because you have to go fast now when you try to go fast you are using t some technology which is uh, already proven or had got matured for years together what's happening with us though we move faster on the technology but there was no payment which came back and those technologies remain obsolete. So now with um, much more uh, concern on, in, on the environment, I think we are all more concerned about long-lasting effects and kind of possibly more um, timeless designs. 
So would you like to comment on this? What we are trying to do today is, you know, we, we are running behind, you know, to achieve or to, to maximize or to, uh, you know, test our abilities to go into the next generation. When we want to look at the term, you know, as a future proof, what that future proof exactly means. Is it future proof means, yes, is it technology? Is it uh, uh, something behind, uh, you know, the technological innovation? Is it an industry? Is it an industrialization or is it, you know, living a more human kind of a life? You know, is it going more towards nature? Is it something what we do sustainable, which means we are saving something for the next generation? I think this is the quest that everybody has to answer today. You know, if you have to move forward to live more comfortable and more peaceful kind of a lifestyle. So we are going from that cycle of the modernization, modernization to the technological innovation and ultimately going back to the nature. So it's very important to understand our own roots when we are talking about making ourselves future. -proof. So we had a great uh, discussion during the day, but how do we make sure that we have a bigger shelf life for these discussions? So we at ET, like you, I have been saying, that we will also make it sure that we will bring out the white paper, we will extend the scope of this uh, discussion that we had, so that it can be taken to the next level. Uh, how do we make sure that, because this is a very creative community, how do we make sure that it keeps inspiring us? And hence, we brought out this coffee table book. Um, it's just the cover that is going to get launched now. The occasion also marked the launch of the Economic Times Architecture and Design Inspirations, an exclusive coffee table book that will chronicle and immortalize the success stories of some of India's most iconic architects and designers. In our country, we have so much to offer for the whole world to learn from. It's all there. Opportunity needs to be created again so that, you know, the master craftsmen, the designers, the planners get a role again, you know, to play. I think it's a great platform. So I'm glad that you are doing this. Hopefully, you know, you will be able to reach out to the right people by which, you know, it, it rings a bell deep inside their heart, you know, so that they all become bold enough, you know, to create something becomes a movement that's going to probably revolutionize in the way we live and you know go back to our golden ages